this video, we're going to be demonstrating the Universal Driver Interface. We'll give a technical overview about this new technology that allows you to develop a custom communication driver that'll hook right into the OAS platform so that you can connect into things like APIs, custom devices, or even your own application data. First, let's demonstrate a running UDI example, and we've developed this to communicate against the Open Weather Map API. This is a real world test case so that you can see how to use a REST API as a data source and then use that to feed data right into the OAS platform. So here we've opened up the OAS configuration app and selected configure drivers and you can see that we've already got the new driver installed and it's communicating with the Open Weather Map API. Now let's select configure tags and we can display the tags that have already been created by the driver. And this is one of the features of the UDI where it will create tags or optionally create tags and tag groups so that you can configure a whole system as soon as the UDI connects and starts pushing data up to the server. So you'll see in this case what we've created is a bunch of different locations. Uh, we have a postal code which is going to drive all of the tags and then you can select a data point. The data point will determine what data gets sent into the value of the tag. And in this example, we've included all of the data points that we can display. So things like cloud cover, humidity, and you'll see that show up in the value. And even the raw JSON that comes from the server, we cache that into a tag so that you can see what's coming right from the Open Weather Map API server. Next is the location. So that's the comma delimited latitude and longitude. We've got atmospheric pressure, the temperature, the descriptive weather, wind direction, wind speed, and a wind summary, which includes both the wind direction, wind speed, and the units. So we'll collapse that down and you can see we've included several other cities. This is again automated when the driver connects and you can even use uh, zip codes or postal codes from international locations. You just have to include a comma and then the country code. So you'll see here we've got uh, Germany, France, Italy, Spain. And what we'll demonstrate here is how you can create a tag using that driver. So I'll just create one called SYR temp, select the driver, select the data point we want to use. In this case, it'll be temperature which will open up a custom property of temperature scale so you can choose Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'll put in the zip code and you'll see the data starts flowing and you'll show the current temperature which is very cold, negative one degree. If you switch to Celsius, you'll see that that will change and convert the value to a Celsius scale. And you can also see selecting different data points will flow the different data for that location into the tag value, assuming that you select the proper data type. So how does all of this work? Well, the OAS platform is a system that can move data between data sources and data destinations. Typically that's installed on a Windows PC or a Windows server. So these sources are things like PLCs, Modbus devices, uh, it could be applications, APIs, and destinations can be things like databases, IoT services, and even visualizations. And each one of the OAS systems can be networked with another system to move data across the internet, or wide area networks. But all of this needed to be done on a Windows PC. Well, with the UDI, what we've done is we've created a system to allow you to write your own communication drivers to speak with devices, APIs, or anything that you can code against. And these can be deployed locally or remotely. And with remote deployment, those drivers can actually even run on any platform, such as Windows servers, Linux machines, Mac OS devices, Android, iOS devices, and even Raspberry Pi devices. So let's take a look at the architecture of each one of these interfaces. At its core, we have the OAS assembly, which does all of the communication with the OAS platform server. This is an assembly that you include in your project and you use to create your own driver. Then we have the custom code that you write for your driver, and this is what will communicate with your endpoint. You can make network calls, you can load data from local sources, file systems, or anything that you can write against. And then there's the host. This is also your own custom code, but it's a very thin wrapper, which is specific to the platform that it's gonna be deployed against. So for example, on a Windows machine, you might have the host be a Windows server. On a Linux or Mac machine, this might be a console application. 
and on an iOS or Android device this could be a Xamarin application that can be run as a native app. To learn more about open automation software go to openautomationsoftware.com and if you'd like to learn more about the universal driver interface go to products slash developer tools APIs slash universal driver. We even have a page describing the UDI implementation using the open weather map at use cases slash UDI open weather map dash Linux. That's because we also show how to deploy this to a Linux device, including a Raspberry Pi. And for some broad information about the UDI itself, you can go to knowledge base slash UDI overview. This is a good starting point if you want to learn more about the UDI, including some technical examples and FAQs.